The time is, 2 o'clock, p.m.
Wee! Hi, hi, everyone! Hi, hi, welcome to the sewing room! <laughs> and hello, Schlies! Thank you so much for the look! Uh, I do I do hope your headache goes away soon. And Cthulhu! Hi, hi! Welcome! Oh, heck! Now that I think about it, I don't think you've ever, um, ever been in this room before. Well, welcome! As you can see, here's my sewing, sewing machine. Um, I have a beautiful, lovely table over here um, that I work on for my patterns and stuff. It's um, well, what's the word for it? It's a little higher so that you can stand at it a lot nicer without breaking your back. So yay! Well, welcome. Um, yes, today we're gonna make some patterns. Um, I already did some duct tape pattern for for the corset on my own time because I wasn't sure how I would do that um, on stream so that I did that off stream um, it went really really well <laughs> I, I had a little help from my mom uh, to get the back seam or um, the center back because it's really hard to do that on your own basically <laughs> oh. but yeah um, just show you. Here's my table. It's very nice. And and this is the pattern that I want to make. Uh, because as I as I showed yesterday, I, I made all the drawings for them, and this this is how it's supposed to look like, um, or somewhat. <laughs> and and I hope to make this. I hope to, I hope to make that. Um. Yeah, not sure how I'm gonna do this yet, um, because this is the first time I may I'm, I'm 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 making a pattern from a duct tape pattern, basically. Um, but what I need to do is cut this up, uh, and I also need to start my timer because <laughs> that is important when I if I want to keep track of the time. Um. Okay, that is all. Um, I'm not sure what else to say today, actually. Oh, I did clean up a lot of stuff. Um, and, oh, fun thing though. Uh, this is the fabric that I want to use. But, um, I got quite a lot of it, so I think I will make the mock-up out of this one as well. Because this is a, a very strong fabric. Um... There is a teeny bit of stretch in it, but I can use the others, like, because this one's stretchy, but this one isn't. So I'm going to use uh, this one, because it feels really strong. So I think I think we'll be fine to use this, and it also, I can use this fabric for, the, <laughs> for both sides, because um, the thing with this corset is, is that it has a light brown and a dark brown. Although this is quite a darker one uh, when compared to this, but I like it because I can use the same fabric uh, and I don't have to buy two colors of fabric. That is also strong and yada yada yada. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, and I can also make a mock-up out of it, so that means I can see if this is good fabric, basically. <sighs> yes, so... The corset. Um, it is a um, not traditionally what you would <laughs> end floor. Hi hi or other otter. That there we go. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot which one it was. But welcome in. Welcome to the pattern stream. Um, I was gonna cut this up because I, I um almost the floor. Anyway, welcome on in. Um, my brain's working really well today, if, if you can tell. Uh, but I just wanna, I'm just gonna do it. Cause I will draw them better on the paper that is underneath here. Um, because it 
doesn't look quite as good, you know, as it could be. But yeah. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well today. I wanted to say, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, if I finish this pattern and cut out the fabric for it to make a mock up, because uh, I think I will be able to f do that today, because I don't think it's too difficult um, to do that. Um, but once I do, I want to uh, also maybe make a pattern for the scarf and or maybe other patterns that I need to make, basically. Um, you know, I thought I thought that would be a good idea. I need to drink some water. Um, oh, that tastes like soap. <laughs> I cleaned my water bottle again, and I don't think I. <laughs> it tastes like soap. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's not. It's not the worst. That's the front. We got here. Right out here. You take off a little bit of the because I used quite a bit of, uh, of this stuff. There we go. And my lay a little bit flatter. You are doing well. Um, I realized that I forgot to grab a thing that I use normally to drop patterns. Um, so I'm gonna have to grab that. Um, <laughs> I know I just started streaming, um, but I will. I will put you on the break screen for just just a minute. I will also put some cleaner water that doesn't taste like soap <laughs> in my water bottle, and then I I'll be right back. Sorry if you just popped in. Uh, yeah.
Oui, I'm back. <laughs> I, I got the thingy. Um, this one's just really handy. Uh, this is also the bigger uh, Geodriuk that I use. Um, last, I think yesterday it was, uh, I showed the smaller one. Um, and as you can see, this one has all the centimeters and, and all the, the fun stuff. <laughs> I ran up the stairs. <laughs> it's a... Uh... I'm a little exhausted. But I'm fine though. Um, yeah. Um, but welcome on in. Uh, I'm, I'm really not sure what to talk about today. Um, but what I wanted to do is uh, at least make this pattern uh, and draw everything on it and then maybe make it a little smaller because this this bit here will be away um because this will be the back of it um i also forgot to take a little look see at that but i want to use a modest thingy um so you basically um when you have the closing of a closing of a corset um, <clears throat> you can like have the choice that you can s like see the the the, the thing the the clothing underneath it as well in the back. Um, but you can put a a thingy behind it, which I I know it has modest in the name, but I forgot the rest of the word. Um, okay. Um. And there we go. I'm I'm just looking at some YouTube videos, so just so you know, um if I found a good tutorial, I will share it um, in the Discord as well. Just looking through the options. Um, okay, and the other one is that. Okay, um, I think the easiest will be that one, right? Yeah. Um, I'll just share it with the, which, the one that I'm using. Is the room, room promotion tutorial? 
Because um, I know there's some, some beans that also want to make cool sets, so... <clears throat> yeah, there you go. Oh, you're looking... Oh, you're welding the shoes. Oh, yeah, because I... I've been lurking in your streams uh, for a bit, and the shoes are, they're really looking they're really they're looking really good. There we go. <laughs> um, I was sorry that I wasn't able to chat, um, but it's really cool to see you see you make cosplay again. It's really looking really well. Yeah, I uh, it's very very excited to see you see you stream again. Is this, uh, I assume you're in the the new crafting room, uh, or cosplay crafting room, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I, I hope you're having a lot of fun though with, uh, with making it. Yeah. Amazing. Because <laughs> that... Oh, what did I want to say again? Uh, oh yeah, it's finished. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because cause, oh, you, you did, did share when you were working on it. It looked, it looked really cool, or at least a really nice place to be uh, crafting and, and making things. Uh, I still have to bring the workshop to feel good. Ah, yeah. But it is nice though that you can work in it, and at least work on your, your projects again. Because uh, I, I do think you, you did take a bit, bit of a break because of... Uh, because she needed to make the the new workshop. So yeah, glad, glad to see that it's uh, going well though. Also, yeah, I think I can just because I was in the size if I should make this in two panels but i think i can just make it one panel because it's not that uh... Put it on there though, so that I know which is the so basically your side seam. That's what you would say. I think that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I have a, a lot of room now with the storage in it. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Please do share. Uh, I would like to speak English without problems for the stream, but it's, yeah, not for now. That's fine. Yeah. Do, do speak the language you are most comfortable with. Um, and if you want to try English, then try it when you feel ready for it. Because um, I can understand that it's sometimes uh, a little difficult or, you know, you might not be as confident. And that's okay. I mean, just watching is, is a lot of fun already, so... <laughs> Mm, I should finish up the village. 
Understand a bit the talk is different. Yeah. Very, very understandable though. Um I I sometimes struggle with it as well. But that's mostly because I forget the words. That that that's my problem. <laughs> my my English might be really good, um, and most people think I'm British, but I, the words, I, I just can't seem to remember them. Or I just keep forgetting. And I'm like, oh yeah, but I just said it like a few minutes ago. And it just, it just be like that. <clears throat> oh yeah. Um, that's that one done. Now it is the friend. Of course, this will have quite the detail as well, um, which can be a lot. Just checking to see if the sides are on the same because I did cut a bit off here. Also, I hope you guys can see a little better what I'm doing. Uh, me. hi hi hi, welcome. Hello. I'm doing some pattern work because I'm making I'm making this the corset. Um, for this little character over here, or there, yeah. <laughs> Well, welcome in. I hope you are doing well. <gasps> Got a little message. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my up here. Hey, um. oh, that that is quite a lot of electrical outlets. Nice. Yeah, we got a few in here as well. Um, I got two over there. Um. Then I have like uh, a four in one uh, on that wall, but I have a, an extra thingy going to the table. And then on the other side I have another set of four, but also with a, we call it a phalanx schnur. Um, but uh, it's like an extension core thing, um, so that we can reach it a lot better. Because it's, it's being a little hidden by a bunch of boxes and furniture. <laughs> but nice. Amazing. Yeah. Um, now, what did I... I completely forgot to do, or forgot what to do for this. Um, because I do want to make it a little bit smaller. Um, and just go from there. Uh, I think I need to make a few mock-ups, uh, which is fine. Use three different uh, electric circuits uh, for the workshop. There are one, uh, especially for big machines like laser and Ah, yeah. Nice. Um, uh, that one, yeah. I need to just grab a few things. And or I need 
items. I want to I wanna draw this little design. Ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> I, I have a new camera set up for this one as well, uh, but I want to make that. So maybe it was uh, small. It's so small. Um, because I might, oh, because how was I going to do that? I was going to do that with, by hand, yeah. Um. I'm gonna make it smaller first, which I need to grab the other one. Um, this one is a little close by, so I'll be right back, because uh, I want to grab the smaller one of this one. So yeah, be right back. Small one, because <laughs> um, I want to take off half a centimeter first, because I'm not quite sure how this will go yet. Um, I'm just gonna try and see how this will turn out, and then just uh, change everything from there. I think. I think I just want to do the shape first of it and then see if that's good enough. Oh, more pictures. Oh, no videos. But the. Nice. Done. Paint it. Yeah. Nice. Then wood. Heck. <gasps> nice. That's gonna be a lot, a lot of storage. Amazing. Nice. And that's looking looking really good so far. Heck. I totally did not get distracted. <laughs> Why would you think that? Okay, this is... Let me see this is. This is... Nine, this is... Let's get this to... Ten. Let's just... Look at that. Yes. 
this is and we need to be in between that. So that's the one. Mm. Is the original? This is the new one. Oh yeah. Yeah, more and more storage. Cause I, I do think I've got quite a nice storage here. But, but there's always the problem, but but I need more though. <laughs> I need more. But for now, in my room, it's okay. It's, uh, I, I do, um, cause I have a clothing um, rack on that side over there, uh, but it's really in the way. And instead, um, I wanna have a whole beam from one side of the wall to the other side of the wall um, and I think we can hang it in such a way that it won't bother us um, because of how the ceiling is uh, and then you don't have to keep moving a, a stupid rack around um, and instead you can just move the clothes um, away and then you don't also have anything on the on the floor. And roll, hi hi. Welcome on in. Oh, we're just talking about storage because uh, uh, Nermalor has a, a very cool crafting room or a workshop, I should say. <laughs> uh, while waiting to finish uh, the work uh, of the house, I sleep in the workshop. But I, I cannot finish the first. Ah, fair enough. I, I hope the rest of the house is going well though. I, I hope that is going as good. Well, welcome on in. Where I'm, I'm working on the corset. I, I made this duct, duct tape pattern, and I just transferred that over to paper, so that I can work on it. <laughs> there is never enough, no. I, uh, I either need to use up all of my stuff, or I just need to organize it a bit better, because. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I hope you are doing well. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with this more. Because I I kind of already did what I wanted to do. Um, so now I think I just want to take these over and cut it out of fabric. And then move on to a new pattern that I also need to make. Which I have, I put down some things because I don't remember if I did or not. <laughs> and yeah, corset. <laughs> oh, um, I will take the time of this cosplay to make a a ruling servant to make padded and fabric corset. Ooh, nice, nice. Um, heck, amazing. I, my brain is doing a lot of thinking, but not doing the work. Uh, established for letter work and jewelry. Ooh, nice, nice. Yes, I was gonna draw this over. Um, I have a lot of excess pattern paper, so I'm gonna use this first, otherwise I am wasting a lot of paper. <laughs> Did I want this? How big is this? I want to have it five, don't I? Yeah. I think that looks a little better. And then you've got like the... I know this isn't correct, uh, but I just want to have it down 
just so that I have it. I'm making a lot more over here. <laughs> Um, uh, close uh, stages for printers, lasers, engravers, and embroiders. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah. Luckily, it's quite small, so I can use the scraps really well. Yeah, you'll be. Yeah, it, it it'll be good for a lot of, a lot of cosplay cosplay stuffs. But yeah, I hope I hope this works. Um, then it needs to be a little yeah one. But yeah, I hope it all is gonna go well. I'm sure it will. But can't say it enough. Oh yeah, I do need to give it a centimeter of seam allowance. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, let I'll do Vi very soon, because uh, I don't have the space to put the fabric that I just bought. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I, I have that as well, they're like, ooh, I, I want to buy new fabrics. <sighs> but then all of my boxes are full of fabrics. <laughs> oh. So yeah, because I, I also have a new cosplay planned, and... I, I do need to look at my own stash first before I before <laughs> uh, before I start buying fabric for that as well, <laughs> which I probably won't soon anyway, because um, money. <laughs> but I do I do really want to go back to a few uh, charity shops again, because, like you said, uh, Roll, second hand fabric store or secondhand fabric is really really nice i i got a bunch in in my boxes as well and they are like because no one's no one's gonna use them so why not just buy them they're like a few cents and like it's <laughs> the cost very low um i finally have uh the place to work um has two so i uh intend to take advantage oh yeah uh Yeah, we need more storage. <laughs> Do 
just just more storage, nothing else. Um, but there's some that, and then. Which luckily I got just enough. <laughs> mm. And then I'm going to get everything else. There we go. Now I can cut it out. You need to know how that goes with it. <laughs> yeah, or oh. I just I really I really want to have a big house in the future where I can just you can just have a giant uh, room just for storage. That that would be amazing. You know, just have, and then just, oh, yeah, that, that would be the dream. No. I won't sew this mock-up together yet. Um, because then you'll just see this in the back of me. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and I am in the mood to just make all the all the patterns. I think today, um, and then I can have because I, I like to keep the genre of the stream the same. Yeah, a whole storage room. It, it is the dream. I mean, technically, we do have like um, a storage unit uh, that's pretty big. Um, a little farther away from the house, um, so it's like at a, a little, a little place where there's like a, a few uh, storage spaces in a row. And we share one of them with our neighbors. Um, but that is full of storage for my dad. So I, d I don't think I can use that also. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, we, sorry. I just saw something happen with my, my thingy. Also, I am gonna fold this up. Cause I don't want this to get ruined. I think I can this all because I don't need everything, and I can use this for something else in the future. Yeah. <laughs> what region will the new house be in?
Okay. There is deal. Because then I can also think some more. Yes. Uh, uh, da, da. Yes. Okay. Okay, this one's done as well. Then I wanted to go to the scarf. There we go. I need to make this one. And I could maybe also make the pattern for the belt as well. And then just, just have everything, everything done. Um, oh, that will, that will be really nice. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, but let's cut this out though. And, yeah, I did. I also have my fabric scissors. There we go. Uh, I'll never, I'll never leave the region of France. Uh, I am in currently, uh, this is my, uh, hobby shirt. Ah! Fair enough. Yeah. I'm, I'm not leaving anytime soon as well. Um, mostly probably because any other place just very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so my table is static. So the paper just wants to stay stuck on the table. Lovely though. I just need to use my fabrics. Again, because I don't need you. Um, 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 um. Fabric, yeah. And of course it stops. Of course it falls. Of course. Just put my thing up there, and then I need. Um, oh yeah, because I need to put this different at um, Yeah, I think I want to cut out the smaller pieces first. And static table doesn't seem very practical for pattern work. Well, it's nice because when you work on your base pattern, like where you're just drawing on the paper, it's quite nice because then it doesn't move around as much. But when you're trying to cut out the paper, it's not so great. <laughs> um, ooh, snow is coming. <gasps> nice. I do, I do like me some snow. Um, go. Yeah. Um, I need these two. Because. 
because I'm cutting this out, because, um, well, for anyone who doesn't know, these arrows, um, mean that you need to, and I also should put this down a bit, shouldn't I? <laughs> but you, this is the, the finished edge, uh, you always have this on fabric, and you use that site to determine where, how to lay down your patterns. For the people that don't know, um, when your arrow's like this, you always uh, lay it parallel. You, there you go, because it's very bright, bright outside. Bright outside, there we go. <laughs> but you always put it parallel to that, that side. If, there we go. <laughs> I could just cut it down a bit more. Um, so yeah. Luckily, I don't need to use a lot. This is very, very sturdy fabric. <laughs> oh, there are some action. Yeah. Action. I want to use up all my data. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay, and this one right here. Like I got quite a lot of this fabric, so I think I think it's quite okay if I use use it as a mock-up fabric as well. Which you know, it's just for the is better because then you're using the same kind of fabric because if i were to do this with uh, the mock-up fabric that i normally use it, it could turn out a lot different than when i start making the actual garment but luckily because this was a coupon as well um which was really nice because that means it's also always a bit cheaper as well I'm just cutting it out anyway. Anyway. Okay. Put you over there, and then I need. Single part of the fabric. Because I only need to. Because I will be putting this on the. the fold of the fabric. So that I. I can mirror it basically. And this one will go like this. I guess. Starting a little earlier. I'll just pin this down. The time is three o'clock PM. Thanks, Lefab. I will take a little break. Sit down. Cause I've been standing for quite quite a bit quite a bit. We oh. oh, should I get some snacks already? I think I'll be fine. Yeah. But ants are running, so I'm gonna take a little break.
yeah so what are also good good for you guys to hydrate as well um very very important yeah i i do wear shoes when i when i am on my on this table but my my feet do get tired very quickly <laughs> when i stand um so taking breaks is is good And then it's only nearly three o'clock. <sighs> yeah. Ooh, good luck with cutting out the fabric. And yeah, taking breaks is nice. That's the reason why I have ants. Uh, so that I, I'm reminded to take breaks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I do have a a break screen, but I just nah, it's fine, cause I'm still chatting. Yeah, it's exciting. And now we wait till the ads are over. Yeah, I could just put it. Because it is nice to be able to stand at your desk when 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 working with patterns and cutting out a fabric because then you don't break your back. The the only problem I personally have is that my feet they they're like ah, go sit down. So that's uh, why I am sitting down. Yeah. It's all good now. I I hope. Everyone had a little nice break with the ants. I hope they weren't too boring. But let's get back. I, I'm gonna cut this out. And then... We're gonna go to the other patterns. That I wanted to make. Because there's quite a few. And if I can just make them... Maybe I can start on them as well. Which would be really, really nice. Because they're just, right now, they're all just small patterns that I need to do. And I, I realize that I, I do have quite a lot of fabric of, of this. But that's okay, if I ever wanted to make something else out of it, I can, I can reuse it. Which is nice. <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys heard that as well, but <laughs> I always find it funny when they they come come by. Yeah. Okay, um, and that's that's the fabric. It leaves. Uh, a good one hour and definitely helped the meds. Okay, nice. I'm, I'm glad your headache is uh, at least going down. Heck, nice. And, and you know, we actually got pretty far in the first hour. Although it wasn't a lot of stuff that I needed to do. Um, I drew it over the pattern. I cut out the fabric of it as well uh, already. So, um, technically I'm done for the corset for today. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I could sew it, but... I also don't want to do that at the moment. Um, so I thought instead, why not just start on the other patterns I still need to make. There are, there are quite a few things that I, I still need to make. Trying to fold this up. Not really working with me. There we go. 
But yeah, and I realize how much fabric I have of this. <laughs> Maybe a little too much, but you know, it, it's okay. I'd rather have too much and be able to use it for another project than not have enough, because that, that's not so great. I think I will sew this because I could also just make all the patterns and cut out all the fabrics for everything and then make all the mock-ups for the things that I, I want to do today. Um, so I, I just have everything at once. That, that would be really nice though. Mm, that, that sounds like a good idea. We're speedy today. That's for sure. But yeah. Like these these are our patterns, basically. Yeah, a very good plan. Cause then I can just sew everything together and not have to stop. Um and then yeah, because the belt is gonna be quite simple as well. Uh, I just need to see if if it's gonna be big enough also. Which color did I need for the belt? Oh yeah, that was gonna be the red one. Yeah, I remember. I remember now. Yeah. These are our thread patterns, which this corset is a lot easier or, or a lot simpler than other corsets. Mostly because this is just for fancy. Uh, this isn't like practical what you would normally do for a, a traditional corset. Just so you know. Um, <laughs> this is just very simple. Um, simple corset making. Don't want to use this. But, um, also, I'm really proud of myself that I took that in just one hour. <laughs> and the show, the shape of Venti's Gordon hat confused me. What does the front look like? Uh, it's uh, um, a halter neck. Uh, yeah, so the I can I can show you the picture that I drew. So this is what the corset looks like. So he it points up in the front and has these like pointy things on the the other side, and it's just more like a corset belt on the back. Uh, why they did this is just because it looked pretty, I think. Um, because it also has like buttons in the front, which ooh. I do need to show you that. I got very pretty buttons for the, the front. I know in the game they're completely gold, but I got these. And I think I think it's gonna look really pretty for the front. Because you got like three of these um that that go I can I can grab because I, I made the pattern. <laughs> um I did just cut it out so I can so yeah so like this is the front basically uh, and it'll have a gold border along the side I just did it without the the all the details for now because it's a mock-up uh, you don't have to make it yeah because in fact there were three of them there we go so it will have three of these on the front. Ah, that looks so pretty. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's a bit confusing, and it also has a gold detail on the bottom here, which I'm not sure how well I will do yet. But I have a thing in mind. Uh, it confused me because it goes up so much at the front. Yeah, it does. Um, But again, they, they this is just this is Genshin. They just do things because it looks pretty. I think. Um, 
and it does look really pretty though. Uh, but with the boning as well, um, because you don't want this to flap down. So I do think I wanna um, have something, uh, or at least have boning that goes down from the top here to to the bottom of the, the pointy thing uh, here as well, or at least just somewhere here. Um, I, I still have to figure out where I want to place all of them. Um, because when the, what I think I will do when when once I'm happy with the the mock up and how how it looks, um, I will try and put the boning in as well, um, and just see where I want them to be placed. Because uh, that's one one of the things that I'm I'm like a little <laughs> how. Because you know, you're doing like you could. What you mostly would do is you put it at the where the seam allowance is, and or at important place. But because this is is not traditional and just because it looks pretty, you know, um, I I wanted to at least have it so that because this being able to flop around or at least bend wouldn't be so bad. But what I saw was someone else that made the corset is that once they wear it and once they sit down, it goes up. But then it it stayed like this, or at least uh, it didn't go back down again once they stood up. Um, and I want to at least make it so that it keeps its shape a little better. Because um, that's what I, I, I saw with someone else that didn't look... It didn't look as pretty. Um, you could always cheat and use uh, a press button. Ooh, for what? I'm, I'm not sure what a press button is. Or is it like... Um, there's one to you just click. Um, ooh. I think I, I, I bleh, my brain worked really well, but I think I understand what you mean. But where though is my, oh, for, I see now. So to keep it up, I could use press buttons to keep it, keep its shape. I could, but I don't think that would be nice because, um, It'll be stuck on the on the short shorts or the the blouse, and I think when moving around in that, I don't I don't think it's gonna be so great. <laughs> but thank you though. It, it took me a minute to uh, understand, but yeah. Okay, that is done. But yeah, that is my little explanation about the. Yeah, because it's the mock-ups and that. And oh I I can make all of this but when I I need to put on all the things I think in order to see if it goes well. I agree, if you can sort out the boning it'll be much better, yeah. Cause I'm I'm not sure because it is on YouTube if you look up how to make a venti cosplay. There is one other person that made a sped up version of how they did it. Uh, like a little time lapse video or videos. Uh, they made multiple. Um, and yeah, I think their venti cosplay look, looked. Um, it, it looked okay. Um, it didn't. It didn't look really bad. But as a, a, a tailor myself, I could see where they could have improved or where they made a few little mistakes. But, you know, other than me just critiquing them, I, I think they did a really good job. Um, and it, it helped me understand how I could interpret it as well. Yeah, just not to my standards. I'm like, <laughs> it could be better though. It, it could be, you know? I think I want to do this. But I want to iron this, so. 
I'm gonna put on my iron. So, I was cleaning this place up and I realized that I still had something laying because I, I can show you because it's a lot of fun to show and you can kind of already see. But I made this entire thing. Ta-da! This is my, my first like fursuit thing that I made. This is for my OC Lexinas. Uh, they're half human. And this is my first ever tail that I made. It's like one and a half meters. Uh, and it's so soft. But I wanna... Because... Uh, the structure that I made inside it, I'm not too happy with it. Because as you can see, it looks a little loose on the outside. Um, I wanna cut it all up because it's just memory foam and use it as stuffing instead. Also, I, I wore this to a convention and it, it got a little dirty. Um, so when I wanna repair this as well, I wanna make the underside of this the black because then you don't see that it's gotten dirty. <laughs> it is It is kind of like a body pillow, yeah. And I, I'm, I, was, I was so proud of this. Because this is for my first ever, or my second ever cosplay. Um, a lot of trial and error with this tail as well, because I tried to make it out of paper mache first. But also, I just, I don't want to sew, because it's, I mean, just look at it. Wee, it's all wiggling. But I want to, I want to improve it, because it's, it could be better, you know? Um, and hello, uh, Sim Simble, hello, yeah, I was just showing off my dragon tail, um, how it's basically, oh, maybe I can show when, it is memory foam, but it's put in sections, so like this is a section, and then this is another little piece, and it's all glued together with contact cement, um, glue, and then I put, in the middle of it, there's like a piece of fabric that makes it so that it can move, basically. But I, I don't like it because, as you can see, it looks a little... It, it looks wrinkly. <laughs> yeah, I, I really... My favorite thing is dragons, so... The reason why my second ever cosplay involves the dragon tail, because uh, they're... Um, Half human, half dragon, basically. Because that, that was just a little easier to start than in making an entire first suit, you know, for your first or second ever cosplay that was a little bit more. Uh, that was bigger. <laughs> um, I did try to make feet with it as well, but I didn't like how it turned out. So I'm just gonna not have it because, you know, they're also human, so I think it, it fits it. Yeah, it is, it is articulated. But I want to make it a little bit more plushy like so I'm gonna change the inside of it um, Because I, I, I think I just like that a lot more and then also storage will be a lot easier with it because I can just Squish it and right now. I can't really do that. I can I can fold it though But not that that nicely uh, I've never been good with sewing and my main craft is crochet and you love to crochet dragons oh nice that's that's i really love crochet as well i i'm a big fan uh but i was gonna turn on my ironing board so be right back oh. i just uh for the new bean that showed up today i'm making uh this cosplay over here this is venti from genshin impact I'm already really far with it, um, and today we're just working on the smaller patterns that I need to finish. Like, uh, the brown thing that he wears is like, I call it a corset. It is not really one, I think, but it has similar um, designs, features to it as like what you would see in a corset, so I'm just calling it that. Uh, but he also has a belt. Uh, and one thing that you can't really see, but he also has like a little scarf thingy. Uh, what you, if you look up, um, oh, I did have a thingy, didn't I? 
it's I believe it's called a Victorian uh, cravat or cravat. I hope I'm saying that correctly, but if you look that up, you have got like a lot of bows and, and scarves and thingies, um, and that it's it's not similar to that, or it's not the same, but it's kind of similar to it. Um, I think the, the designers at Genshin did take inspiration from it, uh, but it's, it's like a little, little scarf thingy that I want to I wanna make. <laughs> it's basically very simple, it's a rectangle that you plead together, uh, or that's at least how it looks like. Um, and I want to make those patterns today. I just finished the one for the cool set. I cut out the fabric as well. Um, and yeah, there ha- wait, <laughs> give me a second. Because the hat is one of the things that I already finished. Ta-da! This is the hat. Uh, I do need to see if I can... Ooh, which way was it again? This way, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. I, I also made the wig. Uh, and it, it looks a lot prettier when I, when I wear the wig. But ta-da! <laughs> this is the wig. Or the, the hat. Yeah! Uh, yeah, a cravat, a cravat, a cravat, I'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly, but that's at least how, because I, I had some people help it out, because I, I'm not familiar, and thank you for the follow, uh, Sydney, um, I hope I say your name correctly, but welcome, I hope you, I hope you enjoy your stay. I, I've been working on this cosplay for one and a half years already, um, and I, I can show you better on the other screen as well. But this this has a lot of embroidery on it as well. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm very, very proud of this, because uh, this is my first time actually doing crochet. <laughs> uh, or no, embroidery. <laughs> uh, ooh, I am saying it correctly. Nice. Uh, it's a really old nickname. Ah, cool. But yeah, this is the hat. Um, I also finished the the blouse that he wears, the shorts, which uh, I am repairing at the moment because the waistband wasn't the uh, best. But this is the side detail, which is the I should put it the other way around, which is the one thing that I find the prettiest. Uh, I've got these little diamond shapes on it and uh, I really like the buttons for this that I use as well <laughs> but yeah I'm, I just put a new waistband on it <sighs> yeah I just oh. although this I could probably show it better on the other screen because it's a bit but yeah this is these are the shorts And I, I hope to repair this soon as well. Probably in the next coming week. So I'll, I'll have the new waistband on it. Because I already cut it out. I just need to sew it on. And then finish it. Um, so that will be done. Or repaired and all that soon. Um, the blouse is in the other room. Because I'm, I'm, it is finished. But I'm just putting a few tweaks on it. To make it better. And the cape, the cape is getting really far as well. <laughs> but I can't show you that now because that's uh, all nicely folded up and I don't want to unfold everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, it's not... Um, it is a technique that I learned when I did quilting at my internship. It's... Um, I used uh, applique. So you put... Like, it's how you can put two different fabrics on top of one another, but make it seamless, basically. Um, and you use that for quilting as well, uh, sometimes. So, I it's very hacking cool that I learned a lot of cool things from my internship that I can use now for my cosplay. Because uh, if you don't know, uh, I do a tailoring study because I want to become a professional tailor someday. 
the reason why I'm also um, making all the patterns myself because I learned it at school and I want to see if all the things that I learned I can use that for cosplay. Um, okay, <laughs> now that's all the talking. I want to iron this because I, I, I'm using scrap pieces of pattern paper because uh, it's just a waste to throw this whole piece away when I can still use it for smaller projects like a belt or the scarf that I'm going to make. So I'm going to do that, and then we're going to do more patterns. Yeah. I do think I will cut a few things off here. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, I hate throwing uh, away anything that could be even partially usable uh, away. Uh, it could be a lot of scrap yarn uh, when I usually. Uh, uh, when. Uh, is usually perfect for flowers, yeah. Like, it's just it's just a lot nicer to be able to use all the stuff. Um, like, I have an entire because I've got a lot of fabric, if you didn't know, <laughs> and I have one little bin uh, specifically for all of my little scraps of fabric that I could still use. Uh, for either like small little projects or just like small little details for maybe a future co Genshin cosplay. Like there's just so much that I could still use that is... It, it's just a waste to throw it away, you know? Um, and I also just want to be better at, uh, you know... Oh, how would I say that? Be more conscious of all the stuff that I use. Also, yeah, I, I do think you guys can see because I I have the lights turned off. Because if I do turn them on, <laughs> you see the lines uh, on the on the table, um, and it looks a little ugly. But I can still see everything without it. Luckily. Um, so, I need to do a thingy. Yeah, if nothing else, it could be good for stuffing. And uh, one thing that I am happy with, though, is that, um, unfortunately, the whole thing with my internship didn't really work out with all my little scrap scraps of fabric. Um, we, we haven't really kept contact with one another, which is fine, it's okay. Uh, but since I still have quite a lot of stuff, luckily now my school actually is um, uh, actively trying to make bins uh, to put all the scrap fabrics in. Because as a school, you, and especially with the, the stuff that we make at school, there's a lot of waste when it comes to fabric as well, even though you put everything really neatly placed together, you can you can still have a lot of waste. Because, you know, that just happens. And they finally, because that's a, a complaint we ha I, I've had ever since the second year of my first study. So halfway through my study, like, we, we really have a lot of waste, even though we um, place everything in such a way that you have the minimal, the, the, the lowest amount of waste and there was still you know waste and I'm glad they finally are doing something about it 
Um, also, I want to draw this halfway right here. It'll be, um, I think it can be two centimeters. But yeah, I, but since I still have like four bags of fabric, um, I want to um, donate it to the school and be like, hey, look, I heard you were trying to be sustainable. Um, if you want a good starting point, I got quite a lot that you could use. It's going to be my gift to them once I'm done with my studies. Be like, hey, um, you're not going to be done with me yet. <laughs> to the right. Yeah, I think. I think that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Um, I'm, I'm glad they're finally doing something about it. Um, also, I should put that on, shouldn't I? Uh, you never know when a small bit turns into something someone else needs. Yeah. Um, and I, I just know this because hopefully with what they, because all these little scraps that you really can't use anymore or like this is only specifically for this project and you're not really going to use it for anything else. Um, once you throw that away, um, it'll be recycled because uh, I know there's one uh, company that makes felt out of uh, little scraps of fabric uh, and that's what my internship, uh, that business does with their scraps. Um, but yeah, they just haven't talked to me yet. And they were like, oh, we're bringing this away so that it can be recycled. I'm like, but, but all of my scraps, where are they going to go? So yeah, I'm, I'm a little a little sad that they didn't think of me when when they were going to bring their scraps away. I was like, but, okay, so. Uh, six, I'm going to do six. So, what I'm going to make is... Oh, I had a little thingy. By the way. Okay, I'm gonna show a picture of it. Because. Oh, you can kind of see it. Um, not really here, though. Yeah. In this picture, you can kind of see that he has, has a little uh, cravat. Um, but it has two tears. Uh, so one is longer than the other. Um, so that's what I hope to make as well. Uh, someone I know here makes small plushies, uh, plushie dragons. Yeah! Uh, Ebony, dra dragon. Their, their name is a little difficult. <laughs> but yeah, they, they do, and they're so cute. I really, I really still want to buy one from them. Yeah, and they, um... With, because you need like a ton of waste, uh, or like a ton of little pieces of fabric, um, in order to donate it to them. And when you're a big company, and you know you make a lot of clothing, clothes every single year, uh, you have a lot of waste, and they can then turn all of that waste into uh, felt for bags. They use it. But they also use it um, to make uh, for design, uh, so uh, interior design, there we go, that's what I want to say. Um, so they use it for multiple things, uh, but mostly for bags, I think. Because uh, the felt, the color of it isn't really uniform, um, but maybe uh, that could be a design choice, it's just... Uh, I'm not sure if they sell the felt, is the thing. But I do know they use it to um, have a new business and things. 
yeah, that's a better picture. The one on the screen made the corset look uh, a lot higher. Yeah. Also, the thing is, the proportions in this in this person is is really whack. Because um, as you can see, these legs they're very very long. Um, when you look at on my, because like this this is the entire um, upper leg, and then you got the. For me, um, this this is still reasonable uh, to size, but the the, the the so yes I know, but from from the waist to the knee is is a lot a lot different on on my body, um, so yeah, yeah they're they're very weird human dimensions, which is why these like things on the sides. Ooh, sorry, I'm not showing that. But like these diamonds on the panties will be a little difficult. Uh, I still need to find good white panties though, because I haven't found those yet. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to make today. But they're gonna be pleated. How many pleats were in this again? I think four, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. Ooh, how how will I do this though? <laughs> okay, let's look up this again. Because <laughs> uh, I have been taking some inspiration from Etsy as well, because there's a cheaper version that you can buy. Um, as just the venti cosplay, you know that's because you don't always have to make your own cosplays. If you would just want to do cosplay. Um, and there's just one you see a lot around. Thank you for the hydrogen stretch. I will do that. <laughs> I think with my ne next break, I will also just um, grab a snack as well. Um, also, how long did I want it to be? Ooh, that was gonna be a thing, wasn't it? Also, I got a fun fabric that I could show. But I will have to see if I can use it or not. Uh, not not quite sure. Uh, but I'm just gonna use because this is a. I went to a charity shop or a thrift store, whatever you want to call it, and there was like this small piece of fabric, just just laying there, and just this just white cotton. And I was like, yes. So I might either just use this one, but I also found a tablecloth with. A very fun. I, I might still use it, but it has, has this on the other side. And just to have a little, you know, fancy thing on the, the bottom layer, I will probably use this. And then the other one, because, you know, this is just cotton as well. Uh, very simple. White. But I, I thought it would be fun to use this for the underside. Um, because I don't think I'll have enough. Because it's not, not quite that much. Uh, but I could just use this uh, for the underside of it. Or the... Because as you can see with this one as well. Is that it has two layers to it. Uh, one with four pleats and the other one is with five. 
Yeah, you're right. Or at least five sections, and the other one is four sections. Um, so I really want to use this for it. Because <laughs> this, this is what I bought at a charity shop as well. Because um, you can find just a lot of good stuff at charity shops. <laughs> when, when, or at least sometimes you're out of luck, but sometimes you're, you're really, really lucky. And you can get some really nice, nice things from them. Uh, yeah, it is. It is that, isn't it? Okay, I need to be Devon do six um, centimeter in total. Right there. Um, a rig machine or a calculator, I should say. Oh, um, six hundred feeders in the hollow. I wanna use this middle. Um one and a half of speed. Oh no, this is gonna be the middle. Um There it goes. That's the first one. <laughs> oh, I'll see how I make this pattern. Because this one requires a lot of thinking. <laughs> um, and then... Alright. Let's just do two centimeters. Yeah. Winning. And this plate is gonna be two centimeters. Uh, I need to. Uh, the thinking part does make some of them more fun. Yeah, it, it is quite a lot of fun to do all the thinking. And and I I am thinking out loud so that you guys know a little bit what I'm doing. Um, because. Uh, Thing is, um, since it flares out, I'm not quite sure if I should um, also do that with the pattern itself, um, or if I should just make it a, a rectangle, and then one when, when you you know do the pleating, it will just fall open. Uh, yeah, you love to hear the creative. Oh, nice. I'll, I'll try to do my best. Uh, I, I'm sometimes a little difficult with words because one, I have dyslexia, and two, uh, English is my second language. So sometimes I might say things in Dutch because that's that's my uh, my first language. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. I I have been doing this for one and a half years, uh, or at least streaming and making this entire cosplay because that's what I started to do. Uh, I I do a lot more now because I do I do play games. From time to time, um, which is a lot of fun, um, and I also do art because that's that was my first hobby after all. Uh, it's 20, 25, right? Yeah, we're gonna make it a little longer. Uh, after all, I will just make a mock up of it first to see if I like it. Um, but yeah, then we got this. That. 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 Uh, 
because that's got to go in to the inside. And then, uh, will it be, yeah, it doesn't want that two centimeters. Or should, no, one and a half was it? Yeah, one and a half. Then, ooh, right. If it's gonna go both ways, oh, because I'm gonna make a plead that. Um, not sure how to explain this, uh, but it goes that way. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but. Um, instead of just going one way, it goes both ways. So he needs extra fabric for that one. Um, right or... Oh no, wait, this is the underside. So now I can just make it so that it goes that way again. Okay, okay. Um... And I want to fill up the whole thing so it's three centimeters. Uh, yeah. Right. Let me know. This is back piece and then one more piece uh, one and a half is that the edge then? oh not quite sure now also how much is this together? one and a half three Oh, so that's eight centimeters. Is it gonna be quite a lot? Mm, I think eight centimeters will be okay. Um, I just get enough context clues to figure it out. Uh, your English is amazing. Oh, thank you. I, I do, I do appreciate it. Uh, so jealous of people who know uh, another language. Oh, yeah. I, I do like that I can speak multiple languages. But I would love to learn them all though. Uh, I have an art form uh, of dyslexia. I can read backwards as well as forwards. And upside down and upside down and backwards, so as well as forwards and upside down, backwards. So letters like B, P, D, Q, unless they are other letters, I can't tell you which is which, <laughs> and even uh, then, you can struggle with it, yeah. My my problem is where I I can see the word correctly, but my brain just doesn't process it, it correctly. Oh, give me a second. There we go, my mom needs some help. Um, yeah, real pain. Yeah, I mean, dyslexia is different for everyone, um, which is why it's uh, 
Like there, there are similarities in in some some people, um, but like there's variations of dyslexia. My my brain just doesn't process it. It's just like words. What what do you mean? What what is that? <laughs> You'll fit right in it, and <laughs> we're all a bit odd. Yeah, where we're all the the weird beans here. Um, but yeah. Sometimes I just read words so incorrectly uh, that it's like, how how did I even see this the first time around? Oh, uh, and just yeah, it just be difficult, and that's okay. I I learned how to live with it. Um, I'm I'm really not good at grammar because my problem is as well I. My reading is okay, sometimes I just need to read it over and over and over again uh, to understand it, but my problem is mostly with um, I can't like automate things. Uh, there's a word for it in Dutch <laughs> specifically, uh, but like when learning rules, I, I can't learn these rules out of my head. Um, like, I have a really hard time with that. Uh, and then that has to do with my dyslexia. But there's a word for it. Uh, in Dutch it's automatiseringsprobleem. Um, but I just don't know the English word for it. And I'm not sure if um, <laughs> Google Translate will give me a right answer. Because I'm sometimes really... Uh, I'm not sure about, about it sometimes with it. Like... Is it really the is this is this okay? Is this good? <laughs> so yeah, it, it can be a bit confusing sometimes. Also with this structure I will just flare it out a bit. Um but that's just gonna take me a minute. Cause this one will be going outwards. Or, ooh, I should probably have done that. Okay. Uh, I am... Um... I'm already again. <laughs> and I will grab uh, a different ruler that's in the other room. So I'll be right back. <laughs> And I'm back. <laughs> oh, because this one is just a little taller than the other one. Okay, how big do I want this to be? Um, because we're going from two. I think we can go to three. Yeah. Or should I do two? Because I don't want it to be too big, as well. Yeah, two. Two will be enough. And bring it to this one because now I want to make it a little flat but I, I like the spacing in this so I think I think that'll be good now I want to do Um, 
but yeah, this dyslexia has a weird thing. Uh, then, because this is all centimeters. Um, so I think I want to make this three, don't I? One and a half, three, yeah. I think this will just go that way. centimeters and then another one and a half mm -hmm. Pause. one and back yeah. I don't have that one with me because I normally when I'm done with a pattern I put it in um, I make the important lines blue so that I I know which one I used um, but those are at school so I have to do that another time. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that looks good. And now for the other one. Or do I wanna? Ooh, because I, I could do that as well. Um, that one and that. A second. Yeah, color coding is very smart. Also, the time is 4 o'clock p.m. Thank you. Look up. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate. Uh, Fenrin, hello, hello, welcome in. I will, I will do that. And I will also sit down because I've been standing for quite a bit. Um, what was that? Oh, thank you. Yeah. You go. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanna grab cookies as well, didn't I? Um... Yes, hi guys! I'm taking a little break. Um... And I, I think I will put you guys on the break screen because I do want to grab some snacks. 
Um, but then I need to go downstairs. Um, yeah, I will. I will do. What if we've been? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I will talk about what we've been doing today. Um, in in a few minutes. Uh, since ants are running as well. So yeah, I will be right back. Uh, so enjoy, enjoy the little break. Welcome back everyone From the break I, I quickly ate a croissant Because <laughs> he still had croissants um, Laying around um, So yeah, welcome on in um, Today I make a lot of patterns uh, I just finished the pattern for the corset That is this one Ta-da and yeah, welcome back. So I finished this one in the first hour. Um, I I made a oh my, I'm very burpy. I made a duct tape pattern, so it was it was quite easy to just 
draw it, make it a little better, and then I will make a mock-up out of that one. And now I'm moving on to the scarf for Venti, which I can grab a picture. Looks like this. This this thing that we're is what we're making today. And yeah, um, snacks. Are, I still have some cookies as well, uh, but I forgot we had uh, croissants. Um, so it's like, let's just eat that first. Oh, but yeah, also here you can see the gold buttons that, I, that we talked about today as well. Because I got some very pretty uh, buttons for the front, which I can show because it's, it's very pretty. But I, I got these buttons. They're not completely gold, but they do have gold in them. And yeah, I'm making the pattern for it. And I, I want to change it just just a little bit still, um, which I'm not I'm not happy with that one. And I should have grabbed a different eraser, but it's fine. It's fine, you know. It's fine. Um, because I want to just create a little bit more stuff here. Um, Cause I did a little dum dum. <clears throat> I think I just needed some th food to uh, to think again. You know, you know. Sometimes you just need food, which is very very reasonable. Uh, but okay, so um, I wanted to make this bigger as well, and I made this four centimeters, uh, and I think I want to make this. Um, because we're going to from one and a half to two centimeters instead. Then, once you get to that, and to that, then we have a mirror, a bigger thing. Or do I want to make it even bigger? I could just go for three. Cause then, yeah. Let's just go for, for, for three centimeters. Yeah. Oh. What did it mean? Yeah, that looks better. And then I need to create the there we go, that's better. Um, or that's looking better, I should say. And this was gonna be three centimeters. We're just making a, a, a pleated scarf thing. In the but Yeah, working, working hard on, on this cosplay over here. And I should have put my timer back on. There we go. Luckily, I didn't do too much <laughs> yet. Um, yeah, right. Oh, I should have. Um, I think it'll be fine. If it's wrong, I can always change it again, I suppose. Centimeters. There we go, and then we create a new thing there. Okay. Get to 
there. Then we got the last one and a half centimeters. And I can make that one flared again as well. Yeah. And I will see if this is good, that I will be making a mock-up of it as well. But at least we got the first one done. Uh, or at least the underside of it, because there's another layer on top of it. Which is the one I will draw right now. Because um, that one is... I mean, I can just draw on top of it, because I have this little space here, uh, so that you have this difference of uh, in, in length, and then it, you know, it stays the same. Uh, but that one is a little different. Um, or should I just make it again? Yeah, I will just not do that, because then it might get a little too confusing, I think. I mean, I could also just start a centimeter or two above it because I can just draw it over one another. That's not too bad because then I can keep the same thingy out because I will draw over these to make the pattern but okay this one is gonna be confusing because this is the middle and you want a pleat right in there which if I wanted to say this one it's gonna be two centimeters um, Oh no 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 there's a lot of thinking involved. Um let me get that reference picture again. Mm. Cause if I want them eight, so that needs to be four centimeters. Um, so yeah, it is four centimeters here and four centimeters there. So that. Because this will stay like that one and that one will go there. Then from here I need... Oh no, wait. If I want... Ooh. Uh, yeah, because it goes in the middle, so it's the smaller. Never mind, because it does not need to be two centimeter in the end. So instead, it's gonna be one centimeter and then one centimeter. All right, that one will also be one centimeter. Uh, then another one. Yes, and then that is that. Deploy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that is one, like the three to two. That is that one. Oh yeah. Okay. 
and then from I will make that two centimeters then and that will go to that room. There's then one, and then I need another one. Which this one will be two centimeters to get there. Um, yeah. And then once I have two centimeters, I have six. So the other ones needs to be. One and a half. And so I need to. Also, I know I'm making this upside down, <laughs> not really nice, but that's okay. It is nice to work that way, um, but it'll be warp. <laughs> um, so, and then this will be three, then. Oh no, wait, that's just the uh, same, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so... We need three. wrong. Uh, oh, this is why it's so difficult. This was a plead again. That was my mistake. So one and a half should be two centimeters. Um. 
Okay, now we will go that way. Okay. Then, um, then I need the one and a half. And I need the three like that. That's already it. So I should make a bigger shunt in there. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, may oh may. Why is this so difficult? I mean, I could also just make it the same amount. That would be nice about <sighs> Now what, I'm just gonna draw this over and then try it again because now I have too many lines. Um, it's getting confusing, basically. And this is too smooth. Um, that's okay. I still have got quite a lot of uh, fabric left, so. Um, yeah, I should have just drawn this on the other. It's okay, it's okay. It's so interesting to watch someone make a pattern who knows what they're doing. <laughs> Me, I'd just be starting faffing with the fabric and cotton into a mess, yeah. It, it, it's a lot of thinking though, because you're working with pleats and when, when you don't know what you're doing, I can understand that pleats can be very difficult. <laughs> They are very fancy though, yeah. I, since I understand how they work, I don't mind them as much. But when when you don't know how they work, or if you can't picture it in your head, I I can understand that it can be very difficult. <laughs> and the the fun the fun thing about them is when they turn out pretty. Like when you're done with them, you're like. Heck, I did that. I, I did that. And now you're just like, what the fuck am I even doing? You know? But yeah, because I could just erase all of this or I could just start over again. And I think that's what I will do. Um, but I do have a good thing in my head now of how I want it to go. At least. So that's nice. <laughs> again. I know it is quite loud. Uh, I think I'll make it this one time. Uh, 
Okay, let's try it again. Um, straight line. We have a beginning. Uh, and a sharp pencil again. Uh, I'm sure you do better than you give yourself credit for, though. Yeah, I'm sure once once you like, oh, that's how it goes. Or like, you'll you'll be a pro at it. I'm sure of it. Yeah. And it, it can it can be quite tricky. I do I do understand that. Twenty five and then it was this one, two on each side. Or one. And then this one was gonna go to four. Or not, know what I'm gonna do because it does look bigger, doesn't it? I'm gonna do three. Three, yeah, right. Yeah, that looks a bit more plausible to what Dash thing looked like. Oh, no, no, that, that, no, that looks too big. Thick. But yeah, it's a bit trying to, mostly because this is a... Uh, it's difficult. You know what, two and a half. I think, yeah. Uh, just imagining if I entered a cosplay competition and they asked me how I did something, I'd be like, a false. Folded stuff and prayed to the crafting gods. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do have to um, explain how you do things, and that that can be a, a challenge. I would say. Or I could I could see that it could be a challenge. Um. So that is because what I would have done is that this one one that would be a two centimeter plead. So you double it, but then you also double it over here as well. And I, I should have done that from the start. Two and a half, so that is five centimeters. But then uh, I don't have enough on this side. No, it's fine. I just started. It's it's fine. It's you know I can start over again and, and until I get it cr until I get it right. You know, it'll be fine. Just cut it off if I needed to. <laughs> you know what I will. <laughs> uh, I will cut the stills, just don't have them right now. Yeah. Eventually, in the future, someday. I'm, I'm sure of it. You just need to try. Say YOLO and go for it, is what I would say. How did I say it? One and one here. And then two and a half, fortunate. And I just keep on two, because then it's not. Yeah, two centimeter. So I don't want too big. Uh, 
Okay. I can do this. <laughs> um, try and try again. Okay, and this one's two centimeters. And this will be four centimeters. Oh, sorry about that. And then this will go. I'll just write this down. Just so still known that this is a pleat and this is the fabric part. Also, my feet are hurting. I've been standing for just two and a half hours. Jesus. <laughs> um, yes. Then we go this. And that one I did one and a half, yeah. I need to draw the line. And this one, one and a half. One and a half. And this was three centimeters. And then she finish three centimeters. Because I could have just drawn this straight on and then laid them out. But, you know, this is also fun to do. And then from that one, I draw a new line again. Because this won't be six centimeters, won't it? Yeah. Because uh, this thing gonna be three centimeters. Three centimeters. And then this is gonna be six. And then the last bit is just one and a half. But then in the middle, I Yeah. First try. Luckily, I did all the thinking with the other one. So now I don't have to do it. And then I can just draw the other side, other one on the other side, or do no, I just? Because I could just, I could just draw it on here. One and a half, maybe three centimeters again. Three centimeters again. There we go. Uh, that should be that one. All right. Yeah. Now onto the other one, which is just a little bit more confusing than I thought it would be. Um, because the pleats go differently as well. Um. 
but it shouldn't be too difficult, I think. Let's hope. Um, because this is 20, right? Yeah, 20. Precisely. Uh, okay, so. Because this one was 8, right? Yeah, that's 3. 8 centimeters. How do I... Um, let's get the calculator. Also, I was doing a Sunquay stream, or in Sunquay stream. <laughs> it's been a minute. Oh, but he's still going. Or they are, they're still going. I should also not get distracted, but it's fine, it's fine. I should go to his. Because I could raid them again today if I wanted to. Because they're making very cool cosplay as well. Um. Um. What what did I want to do again? Oh yeah, calculator. And hit it with three is two and a half. <laughs> okay, so um I have two in the front, so that's two. Because I could also because I have one Two and three, please. Um, right. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, okay. So this one we start off with. You know, I'm just gonna start with the two. Um, and then that one, that is that, and then two and two. Okay, so this is the plead. Then, um, ooh, I'm just gonna put this one to two and a half, yeah. Let me get that difference in there. Sorry if I get a little quiet because I, I didn't know. There's just a lot of thinking happening. Um, So this and I could do because I want to have eight in total, right? Because I could just do two centimeters then every single time, right? Yeah, but then just smaller pleats. All right. Mm -hmm. Why is making this decision so difficult sometimes? Um, uh, this is gonna be two centimeters. It's so two centimeters. Yeah, and then this is gonna be four centimeters. And four centimeters. Or will that be three instead? Yeah, let's do three. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, three, what's that? Yes. Okay, then that, 
underneath there. You've got that. Yes. Mm, that one's going to go underneath that. So this one I will want to have two centimeters again. And then four this time. And then we've got the last little bit. Right, and this is the plead, isn't it? And then that. And then this is going to be another two. So that we got fear, fear, oh, yeah, see, got as well, got as well. It just takes a few tries. And here was four again as well, right? Yeah. There we go. All right, at least I hope you guys can see it. It's, I think you guys can see it a little better than before. <gasps> oh no, all right. I just saw Genesis where she lost her last marbles. Tiny smocking. Wait, 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 okay. I, I have to see this. What is happening, Jelly? This is interesting, interesting. A tiny smoking for ants. Jelly. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I think Jelly likes smocking way too much. Um, my, will will this become a problem? Do you think? I think I think it's too much smocking. I, I, I don't think that's good. <laughs> Do we need to stay? Yeah, like really, Jelly. Are are you okay? Is is it all good? Also, twenty years over here. Yeah, nice. So I'm just making the waist or the the neck thingy as well. It was about forty, right? Yeah. If not, I will add uh, just two more. Um, there we go. Also, I will take a picture of it. Because then I can be like, look what we did today. I will have to color it though uh, in the future. But you know, it, it's it's okay for now. Um, I think I could draw that over as well. But let's let's take a few pictures first. Um, because then uh, I can I can see what I did. Yeah. Okay. Pictures have been taken. Good, good, good. Um, I 
Okay. Uh, time to draw the bow then. So that I can actually make the thing. Um, yeah. Also, I'm gonna cut this over. Because I think I want to use this for the belt. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can use this one. If not, I can always see... Uh, this another one. There we go. Will this be confusing? Uh, I don't think it will. Maybe, yeah, it probably will go into it. Okay, it's fine though. do the, the thing. Um, no, actually, um, this this paper is very thin, so the reason why it's called pattern paper is because you can see through it. Uh, technically a light box would help a bit better, but when you're working with really big patterns, you, you it gets really a bit annoying when you work on a light box. Also, I, I don't really need it, I think. Um, because my eyesight is still that good, <laughs> even though I do wear glasses. But if you, the reason why I also put it in in pen, or I I color code everything, because then um because it has a thinner paper, you can see the colors through the paper so that you know which line you need to um draw. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's why I always use this paper for pens because it just is very nice. And also this uh, the thicker one that I have is actually from school. Uh, so when I make really big patterns at school, I just take the scraps with me home because I c I can use them here really well. <laughs> yeah, uh, you technically don't have to. Um, you can use any kind of paper that you'd like. Um, if you like. I don't want to waste too much. You can always use baking paper. Because uh, that, that's what this kind of feels like. It's just... Um, <laughs> uh, the, 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 the baking paper that you put in the oven when you're baking cookies, you know? Um, uh, so if you don't want to spend a lot of money and just want to try it out and see if you like it, you can just go to the grocery store and buy baking paper. Um, or at least I think so, yeah. It, it might be, because uh, I'm not sure the quality of it, but um, with one paper that I have, it has like a, a shiny side to it and a dull side to it. I'm not sure if baking paper has the same thing, but if you use the shiny side, you might smudge your lines. But I mean, you can try it out. I've never done it before myself, but it is the closest uh, that is the same kind of paper, I, I would say. Yeah. Hmm. So you could just try and then you're not wasting a lot of money because it's just baking paper. I, I assume that is not that expensive yet. Or at least I hope it isn't getting expensive. Um, but yeah. Also, I forgot that I had cookies, so I'm, I'm, I'm eating a lot of cookies. Okay. Okay. So good. Mm. 
I mean, mm, nah, that were fun. Um, go up with like uh, twenty meters usually. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, of course the the length of it is a bit smaller, um, but you can always um, tape them together to make a better, bigger, bigger pattern. But if you're just making small projects, it's maybe nice. Um, if not, any fabric store should have pattern paper, which also isn't too expensive, but um, if you want better paper, it will be more expensive, basically. Mm. Mm. And it also depends if you have a fabric store close by. So then a grocery store might be more... It, it kind of depends on where you live. Mm -hmm. hmm. But yeah, you can just try it out and see if you like it or not. Um, and... With this paper, it especially helps when you have everything in colors, because then you can see it a little, a little better, you know. Mm. But it isn't too bad. Also, because my lines are thick or darker, yeah, it also helps, but. It doesn't really show up on camera as well. So I can I can understand if you're like, but how can you see what you're doing? That's because I use magic. It's it's all all magic. Ooh. I mean, you can just take it off. Yeah. But I might be able to use it for everything. Ooh, I just realized that I can use uh, this this um, ooh, lace uh, for both of them. Because it's not, they're not that long. I will just take it off because I can just cut this off and then just sew it back on to the thing. <laughs> if I wanted to. So yay. Heck. My plan is coming together. Um. This line is the middle. No, don't move. Mm. 
But yay, then we, I don't think I will cut this out because it's almost five, I think. Um. Um. Yeah. Or, I mean, I could. Right. Will I go for another, another half an hour? Hmm, because I do need to buy some things for dinner today. Yeah, I think I will just cut the fabric out for this one and then we'll stop. Meaning will we will have, or do, do I just want to stop? Because ads will start in a few minutes. I think I will just continue working and then... Oh, wait. <laughs> My music stopped, I see. <laughs> it's an ash, but no. The music is weg. I'm sorry that we haven't, because my, my sound is very low, so I don't really hear the music. <laughs> I'm so sorry that we've been, when we've been streaming without music today. Yeah. Let's go for a little longer. What the heck? I completely didn't notice. Oh, wow. Well. The one upside of of the table being um <laughs> empty cup. Hi hi hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're working on a lot of patterns today. And I just finished the scarf. Um Yeah. I'm just gonna cut some things out for it. And then I can cut out the fabric. And I'm I'm still debating if I want to also make the pattern for the ants <laughs> for the belt. Uh, but I'll see if I'm gonna do that or not. Because I could I could I could do that if I wanted to. But yeah, I will I will sit down though when doing this because my, my the time is five o'clock p.m. Thanks, Lepa. You're being a hacking sweet bean today. And it tastes like soap again. Yeah! Thank you for thanking the laptop. Thank you for the stretch as well. so small when sitting like this. One thing that I want to have um, for this uh, sewing room is um, a chair that is um, adjustable in height. I, I have found one that I can buy but it's expensive so it will take a minute before I can have that, but when I do, I can like sit at it. I I can sit at my tall desk then as well. 
and it's just that's it's such a nice thing because we have them at school as well the the adjustable ones because then you can stand but when you need to sit down you're not sitting like a little gremlin being very short like i can i can rest my head on on the table very easily <laughs> that that's how small i am right now and welcome back everyone from the ads uh <laughs> library one from school when you're finished <laughs> I, I i don't think they will um unfortunately because they were replacing a lot of the chairs they had and i was like why did you not ask if some students wanted those chairs um and i think the mostly they did that because one there was either something wrong with those chairs or a lot of them and or they just are stupid people and just didn't think of that you know and or they went to a different place as well that that could also be be the thing like maybe they want to do another school i'm i'm really not sure what happened to them um but yeah it'll be fine it's just 150 euros it's it's not that expensive <sighs> But yeah, I do hope to get a nice one, eventually. With also, um, like the the back, where you can rest on with your with your back, uh, that one will also be adjustable. So that that's really, really nice. And then I can have it for my table, but I can also put it small so that I can sit at, uh, at my sewing machine. And I think it's gonna be a lot nicer of a chair. I can I can share a picture of it, uh, or uh, when I'm done with this. Also, I was just cutting out the fabric for everyone who was in ads, um, because I'm gonna stop soon. I was like, ah, I'll just work. But I am sitting though because my feet are tired. They be in pain. And I really think I should get new shoes for this room. Because the ones I'm using right now are my very old, musty uh, shoes. And I think this, the soles of these shoes are just dead. They're, they're not working properly. Because I at school I stand a lot as well. But I can, I can stand a lot longer than what, how long I'm standing right now. So... <laughs> It's, it's not really uh, doing a great job at the moment, but it's fine though, it's not the worst. I could also just take them off maybe, that would also, that could also maybe work. could also just be the shoes itself that's making it uh yeah there's no thing we wanted to having to yeah okay i'm gonna put on my oops because I, I wear these because my feet seems are very delicate and cold and i don't i don't like cold feet and or just the feeling of the ground at the moment. If, if you ever just don't like to feel the ground. Also, these are the wrong way. There we go. And a new one. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I like to know how to make a uh, slipper boots. <gasps> yeah, that would be that would be really nice. Yeah, this one. Oh, uh, yeah, this 
is this is the big one. Right. One that is one. Oh, what was it now? I forgot what this does. Oh, you woke up to snow this morning. Oh, heck. Exciting. Also, sorry, but how are you, Teacup? I hope you're doing well. I just. This is one, yes. Oh, did I get the wrong one? Fair enough. My bad, my bad. There we go, now it makes more sense. <laughs> But yeah, oh, heck. yeah, we don't get snow anymore, unfortunately. But I, I do hope it, I, I do hope you enjoy the snow, or at least I hope I hope you like the snow that you can look at it and be like, ooh, pretty. Yes. So I got some scraps here as well. Um, I'm not sure if they're big enough though. We'll have to see. Uh, no, they're too small. Because that would be nice. But you know, sometimes, sometimes it's just eating gonna work. Also, ooh, I could use my, my new a new, a new thing with this. Because <laughs> I need to grab something out of the other room again. Because of course. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I'm gonna be right back. Yeah. Got this fancy thing. Also, I need to close the door. And this is just a very fancy pen that you can draw on fabric with, and it'll disappear once you are not using it anymore. But how do I use this again? Oops. There we go. But yeah, this is Taylor's chalk, and I got uh, a lot of funky colors. And I want to grab a dark blue. Put the other one back in here. Yeah. I'm gonna try my best to keep it uh, nice. Yeah, until a little bit longer. But yeah, now I can draw on it, and then you have a little line. 
which is really, really nice. Also, <laughs> tip for people that want to make mock-ups. Um, if you are using a, a simple cotton for your for your mock-ups or for your uh, end products or whatever you're gonna make, <laughs> you can go to your charity shops or thrift stores and just buy um, um, bed sheets or at least um, because I think this is a, a curtain, or I'm not sure what this is, but it's very, very, it's big, I can use a lot of it, um, and it was very cheap. Uh, I, I made a few mock-ups out of this already, but it, it helps a lot when you're, um, you know, trying to work on cheap things and or you don't want to buy new fabrics. Just buy this instead. Because I forgot to put some uh, seam allowance on this. Uh, oh, there they are. Uh, so I still need to do that. Which is very easy. Uh, I just pin it down and use the, this one to uh, draw it on. Because I forgot. Whoopsie. And this is the other one needs to be double. Oh, it's okay, I can do it like ten. Let's do these first. You might not be able to see everything that I'm doing because I, uh... The view of it is a bit smaller than what I would... Have, but I didn't want to change it all over again. Clicked um, myself. But yeah. Now we're gonna have to decide who we want, who we want to raid, because there's a lot of cool beans live at the moment. I'm not sure who to go to. Mm, yeah. Also, the thing I like the most about this one is that I can sharpen this one because uh, I I have different tater chalk uh, that I could show in a second as well, but it's a bit annoying because it's difficult to sharpen, and there's a little thingy that you can get for it, but I just haven't found it. I'm not sure what to to call it. Or to search, how to search for it, basically. But yeah. Um, where did I put it? So, uh, I've been using uh, this Taylor Strock, and uh, this is the one you mostly buy often. As you can see, it. Uh, I already chipped this whole thing away when trying to sharpen it. Um. And yeah, this one, it's nice, I guess, but it just doesn't, it's not, it's not that great. I'm not, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of it anymore. So yeah, I'm glad I have this now. Or I'm happy with it, I should say. I am happy bean. So yeah.
Yeah. Okay. Let's cut these out. Oh, wrong scissors. Also, just move it a little bit if I wanted to. Crack my brain. I'm just, I'm just figuring out what the best setup is for this room as well. But I did. It was so nice how I had it for the other one. Since I have another one planned next week anyway. I don't want to change this one too much. Or the camera, how it's sitting. Too much right now. But yeah, once, when I make bigger patterns, I'll, I'll try and... Uh, do it so yeah you guys can see everything the best there we go Now I'm like a little paranoid if, if I still have music on. So I wonder why it balked my my internet. I wonder I wonder why. Oh yeah, I should also do that. Don't I just want to. <laughs> And then we're almost done. Yeah, I, I think I will do the... Uh, the other one another time. Because I'm feeling tired. So I should stay up soon. Sew this all together. Or 
if I'm like, uh, I just uh, will, because I could just do this all off stream as well. If you guys don't mind. Well, there we go, and then, and that's it. That is it for today. Yes, one hour and fifty minutes. Oh, that's nice. I'll fold this up <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna stand on my <laughs> uh, chair. Because I'm gonna do the thing. Indeed. We're gonna do the thing. But yeah, I, I hope everyone enjoyed that. I, I hope you guys uh, you guys liked it. All the fun fun stuffs today. Mm, yeah. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah. And this is for the scarf thingy. So it's one and twenty minutes. Nice. I need to also where is this book here? Because I, I need to scribble something. Yeah. Okay. Look for set. Yes. Oh yeah. Um, let's see who is live still. Oh, Sunko is still live. But I'm not sure for how long he will go, or they will go. Oh, no. Shall we? Ah, why is it so difficult to choose who to go to? Oh, because they're all such fun beans. Say hello to. They're all so nice and sweet and... Like, but I want to go to all of them, but you can't. Heck, um, Hibi Sankoi. Should we just say hello to Hibis again? Oh, but it's been a while since I've seen Sankoi as well, though. Oh, oh no. Choices, choices, choices. It's so difficult. Ah. Oh no. Um, who, who do you guys want to go to? Sun Koi Cosplay or Hibis Asylum? They're, they're two very sweet beans that both do cosplay today. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Um. It was like an angelic dream or he's just not alive. <laughs> you can't make the choice out there. Well. Oh, you know, we're gonna go to Sunkoi. I'm not sure for how long they will go, but I'm sure they they will know who to raid. <laughs> uh, let's do all the outer thingies before, because otherwise my laptop will be screaming at me. So yeah, thank you all so much for joining today. If you'd like to know when I stream again, it's on the Discord. Um, I'll be here... No, I will be doing some art tomorrow in the evening. Uh, also, hello YouTube. Hi, hi. Um, this is gonna be a miscellaneous uh, stream. Um, because because I did so many things today. <laughs> um, yeah, but I do I do hope everyone liked it today. Let's do the shout out to Sunkoi. If I can spell this correctly. 
Oh, thank you, Teacup. I will give you uh, the roll in a minute when I uncoin Goodfly. Yeah. There we go. This is who we're gonna raid. If you wanna check them out later, that's completely fine. Uh, but if you wanna join the raid, please do. Because uh, they're a very hacking sweet bean. And, and thank you all so much for joining today as well. I had a lot of fun streaming today. Um, let's do the raid message as well, because uh, that's not how you spell raid. <laughs> oh. And raid. Sub. Yes. Bye bye. I do, I do. You hope you have a lovely rest of your day or evening or wherever you are in the world. I hope, I hope it's going good. Yeah. Let's, you can copy those messages over, um, but let's start the raid, because, because they're a hacking sweet bean. Um, quick cosplay. I'm sure they're doing wig uh, styling today, which is very cool, because I'm, I, I tried it, but I'm, I'm not the best with, <laughs> I'm not the best with uh, styling wigs. So it's cool to see someone uh, else do wig, wig stuff. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> wait a minute because it's loading. It's going very slow, um, but that's because it's doing a lot of things at the same time. But yeah, um, not sure what to say. But thank you again. Uh, I do, I do hope you guys have have a lovely, lovely time at Suncoys um and let's let's do a hacking raid uh see you all again another time and let's send them a lot of good vibes uh and just just be be good bean send them some love and let's go um yes bye bye everyone bye bye i, I hope this is gonna go well <laughs>